Hey guys, what is going on? Instant Champion here, and today I want to show you guys the best recording settings for OBS. So basically, you guys want to hop on over to settings and just click settings. And now we'll go over to encoding. So uh, the first thing you want to do is uncheck UCBR and set the quality balance to 10. Now we want to set our max bitrate to 1000. Check use custom buffer size and change the buffer size to zero. And if you're using an NVIDIA codec, you can click that or if you have an AMD one or whatever your codec is and hit apply. Now we want to go to broadcast settings and change the file mode to file output only and create your own file path. Once you've done that, go to video and you can this is this is where uh, you get to pick what you want to do. Uh, I'd always recommend having your uh, your full aspect ratio. So if your monitor capture is at 1080p, then let that be at 1080p. You can uh, obviously downscale if you like to. You could record at lower settings. Uh, it just really depends on how much your computer can handle. If you guys are looking to do 60 FPS then uh, you can change this right here but for those folks who are trying to do 30 you may do 30 as well now you want to head over to audio and you want to select your desktop audio device if you're not sure what to do with and you you can just mess around uh, maybe set it to default and see what works out then you can set your microphone and make sure to have this unchecked because we don't want to have a mono audio recording and uh, I don't know this is just a personal preference but I like to have my mic audio boosted a little bit and you guys can set push to talk hotkeys and broadcasting hotkeys if you wish now let's over to the advanced settings check use multi-third options Make sure that the priority class is a normal. Uh, some people might say to set it to high or above normal, but when, when you do that, it uses more processes that it doesn't need. Um, you can you can check the uncheck that one, whatever you like. Now for preset, uh, you, since this is a local recording and you're not broadcasting, we're not worried about this too much, so you can set it to whatever you like. Make sure that the encoding profile is main and this is zero. Uh, make sure to have constant frame rate checked and now we want to use a custom x264 encoder setting. Basically what you want to do is type in CRF and the equal sign and you can type in a value in here from 0 to 20 depending upon how well your computer can handle the encoding settings. For me I like it at 10 because it's a fairly lossless video, but it doesn't completely use up all my CPU so I can still play a game at a relatively well quality. I would highly recommend that you guys start off at somewhere from the 15 or 20 range and see how the encoding works. And if you guys have free space, then feel free to go down. Ideally, this is meant to be at zero for a completely lossless recording, but in my case, I cannot handle that. That's why mine is set at 10. And now we can head over to the microphone noise gate. Uh, some people might have some background noise and they might need to set this up. For me, I have my computer fan going on. So this is what I have mine set up at. And that's about it, guys. If you guys have any more questions on the settings, please leave a comment below and I will try to address it. Thank you guys so much for watching, Instant Champion.